Hey guys, it's Cal here from KR Sabres. This is an overview video for the highly anticipated Heart of Siberia DIY lightsaber heel kit by Denis Lukinov. And this is due to launch on May 4th, 2023. This saber design is a modification of the very first hilt that Denis made in 2017. Dennis is known for his extremely popular Creepy Uncle and Crimson Lord hilts, so you can be assured that the same attention to detail has been applied for this kit release. This saber was actually inspired by the Kylo Ren concept lightsaber from the Visual Dictionary, however Dennis has made that design even more unique than what was shown in the book. This may well be Dennis's first and last non-canon design project ever and he wants to make it a special one with various improvements to the original. This hilt has been beautifully machined from AL6061 aluminium with a primarily matte anodized black service finish. The built-in crystal chamber and blade plug have been machined from brass and copper with the emitter and belt hook being machined from stainless steel. The emitters can also be heat treated should you wish to do so. The kit comes in a fairly standard packaging box that's been lined with foam for maximum protection during transit. The kit includes the hilt itself which is partially assembled, two silver dome tactile switches, a set of red body accent panels, Covertech wheel and screw, red wire that is used to run along the entire saber body, and our gold challenge coin. This hilt features a one inch blade and cleverly has a discreet knurled thumb screw that can be tightened without requiring any specific tool. There is also hidden sound vent in the pommel area and it has a dedicated switch area for the included silver dome tactile switches. However, my favorite aspect of the kit is the mechanical crystal chamber reveal that can be seen here. It allows you to view the crystal chamber in a full view mode, as well as via the battle damage window on the opposite side. It's important to note that the hilt themselves do not come pre-installed with electronics and therefore will require installation by the end user. Alternatively, the kit can be sent to your preferred hilt installer. We could also recommend installers based on your area if you have any issues sourcing one. The kits will be offered either as empty display hilts or with DIY installation kits. There is also a weathering option that will be facilitated by one of Dennis's partners, the same weathering artist used for his Creepy Uncle and Crimson Lord hilts. Examples of the weathering can be seen in the product listing that has been linked in the video description. This model currently supports an eco chassis and master chassis. We've covered in previous videos the differences between these. However, for those of you who are new here, our eco chassis is a simple functional 3D printed PLA plastic chassis. And thankfully there will be an installation guide for the eco chassis if you plan to purchase a kit and this will make self-installation much easier. The master chassis, however, is a more artistic chassis made with premium materials such as natural 3D printed brass. This is for those who wish to add some extra flair to their hilt that will surely impress. There are some preview images of the master chassis itself shown on the product listing also. If you plan to install an eco chassis as I have with my personal kit here, to access the main chassis simply unscrew the pommel and the chassis will come out. This is where you can access the soundboard, USB, SD card, and also the kill switch. This particular build uses a Profi V2.2 soundboard, Eco Neo Pixel connector and lens cover, an 18650 high amp lithium battery, stock rotary PCB, and a 28 millimeter speaker. The main activation and auxiliary switches can be found here and here. The kill switch has a nifty actuator that allows you to boot the saber without removing the pommel via one of these windows. I have a one inch NeoPixel blade here. Simply unscrew the retention screw by hand. Remove the blade plug. The screw is knurled to make removal very easy. Simply tighten like so. And now it's secured in place after which the kill switch can be activated by pressing through one of these windows. As you can see the crystal is pulsing whilst in idle mode. And we have our effects. 
This is a Carlo Ren sound font by Carbophonic Fonts. This tilt kit will be available from May 4th on thesaberarmory.com and if you have any further questions or queries please either leave a comment or contact us via the website. On behalf of Dennis and I we'd like to thank you all for your support. As you may know Dennis has had somewhat of a difficult time with the recent political problems in Russia and it's very inspiring to see him still creating despite these circumstances. I truly hope to see many of you in the community picking up one of these kits this May 4th and supporting Dennis. Peace.